On to an important topic. Homelessness in Colorado has been an ongoing problem and the number of students experiencing homelessness in our public school system has increased as well. However, today we have some inspiring news from Helping the Homeless Colorado, a youth-led nonprofit organization for the homeless. With more, our high school juniors and executive directors, Mateen Kaligi, Alyssa Gorkin, and Allie Ginsberg. Thank you all so much Thank for you. being here today. Thank you. All right, so um, I'll start with you, Mateen. What is Helping the Homeless Colorado? Yeah, Helping the Homeless Colorado is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and it was actually started in 2016 by Alyssa and I. And then Allie joined a couple months later. Okay. And then now three years later, we have three pillars of programming that support the homeless in Colorado. And I think the most unique element of our organization is everything is done by youth. So the programming, the administration, the grant writing, all done by youth. So it's a completely youth-led nonprofit. That's so. wonderful. And I want to talk about how that passion came to be in just a minute. But Alyssa, um, what does the programming of Helping the Homeless look like? Yeah, so here at Helping the Homeless Colorado, we split our programming into three different areas, which we call pillars. These pillars are educate, advocate, and alleviate. So over at educate, we do this idea of challenging the stereotypes that we see in the general public and informing them about the realities of housing insecurity. And then advocate takes on our more political lens. It's talking about the policies that may be missing or how certain socioeconomic groups interact with different policy actions. And then alleviate, which is one of our more exciting ones is how we directly interact with the homeless community and that breaks down into outreach days which include um, like giving out toiletries, blankets, food, like day-to-day -day need products and then our scholarship awards program. Wow. Yeah. That's ex ex exciting really and so passionate about it. Um, you guys also built a new program called Youth Portal. Yeah, so that? Youth Portal is just something new we added over the summer. So basically from our research from our scholarship winners, in addition to just teens in general experiencing homelessness, there's so many, almost 25,000 across the state. So we found that this common pattern that teens just didn't really know what was accessible to, accessible to them in their situation. So um, we took elements like how to write your common application for college or how to do standardized testing, how to get campus food vouchers, things that us as regular students have access to. Mm -hmm. And then we wrote articles about them and narrowed them down into the lens of homelessness and how teens experiencing homelessness can utilize those resources to the best of their ability. So it's just a link on our website. It's open to everyone. And there's about 10, 15 articles on there right now. And we just keep adding more as different programs come up. Wonderful. Alyssa, I love the name of this event coming out. It's called yeah. Hustle for the Homeless 5K. Tell us about that. Yeah, so Hustle for the Homeless is our run, walk, crawl, stand, <laughs> however you, however you want to get there, yeah. um, 5K. And it's going to be on August 3rd at Great Lawn Park over kind of towards Lowry from 8.30 to 11.30. And we have a super exciting offer today for Coco viewers if you go online and register with the code COCO path we have free registration um, it's a really good event to just kind of maybe introduce you to the organization or come back and have a really good time with the whole family love it Ellie on the end there tell us about the volunteer opportunities and how folks can get involved of course so we have tons of volunteer opportunities the easiest way to get involved is to come down for an outreach day and you do that by going on the website and finding the Sign Up Genius. You just put your name and an email and then it'll give you all the information. Okay. We're also always looking for teens and just fresh faces to join the nonprofit on a semi-permanent basis with a committee position or just to volunteer a few times. I love that it's all teen-led. It's really yeah. fabulous. What other opportunities do you have and fundraising opportunities are coming up? Yeah, so as Alyssa was talking about, we have our Hustle for the Homeless 5K at Great Lawn Park on August 3rd. And you can register for that on our website. If you use the code COCOPASS, you'll get free registration. We also have plenty of monthly restaurant fundraisers and information about that can be found on our social media. We really spread that everywhere with posters and posts and they'll be on our website. And then also upcoming this fall, we're gonna have our second annual benefit gala. Tickets for that will be available on the website and we'll have a silent auction and a few other fun little surprises. And then we always accept donations, so just go on the website, we really appreciate it and it just helps us do our programs. Wow, just teens doing some remarkable work for a very important cause. Thank you so much for your passion. Yeah. Thank you. Program. You're welcome. Well, Helping the Homeless Colorado needs your support to continue their mission of advocacy and education. Register for the Hustle for the Homeless 5K on August 3rd. Enter promo code COCOPASS for free registration. For more information and to learn about volunteer opportunities, go to helpingthehomelesscolorado.org.